Hi students, next one is ABG analysis, arterial blood gas analysis. It is the assessment of arterial blood gas status. It is usually done by ABG analyzer. It is a common investigation in emergency department and ICU setup in your hospital for monitoring the patients with acute respiratory failure. Third one is what are all the indications? All the three failures, respiratory failure, kidney failure and cardiac failure, poisoning cases, burns and sepsis patient and ventilated patients, right? Usually the artery is radial artery. Here only you are going to pick the, uh, collect the sample, radial artery. The second choice is brachial and femoral artery. Why it is important? To find out how your lungs are delivering oxygen to the blood, to assess the balance of acids and bases in the blood, it helps to evaluate the lungs, how it removes the carbon dioxide molecule, it is a waste product from all the three metabolisms. Next, what is the uses, useful, how it is useful for the clinicians? It only helps in confirming the diagnosis, it guides the treatment plan for a clinician, it helps in ventilator management, to find out the improvement of acid base status in the emergency department or ICU patients, right? <clears throat> this is actually invasive procedure. The site is radial artery. What are all the parameters involving in ABG analysis, arterial blood gas analysis? The first four, that is first one is blood pH, 7.35 to 7.45, here there is no unit. Second one is bicarbonate 22 to 26 millimoles per liter. The unit is very important. Third is two gases, PaCO2 and PaCO2. Uh, PaO2 and PaCO2. PaO2 normal level is 95 to 105 milli equivalents per liter. Sorry, millimeter of mercury. PaCO2 is 35 to 45 millimeter of mercury. For these two gases, the unit is millimeter of mercury. The next one is three electrolytes that is uh, sodium 135 to 150 milli equivalents per liter, potassium 3.5 to 5 milli equivalents per liter, whereas chloride 95 to 105 milli equivalents per liter. So for any ABG questions that is arterial blood gas analysis question, first you have to define the ABG, second uh, mention the artery name, third one is what is the significance of this ABG measurement? Fourth one is what are all the parameters involved in ABG?